encouragement for the body and bride of Christ for your discernment by the Spirit and Word of God. All that you have dreamed of, every longing, every need shall be fulfilled within me, every heartache wrapped in my love, every tear wiped by the hand of the beloved Son. Beloved, this love knows no limits, no bounds. This love is so glorious, you shall not be able to stand in my love. Such glory you cannot imagine, my beloved dear. Such glory comes to envelop you, my beautiful child. Every part of your heart, every part of your soul and design was within me created by my loving heart designed. When I saw you in the eternal courts of time, I desired that my love find expression through your life. I breathe the breath of life within you. From my breath you did come. This is why you now feel breathless, seeking and longing after my love. My love is yours and yours alone. I am your passionate love. I know my own. I know what makes you smile, what makes you cry. I know each thought. I hold you when you cry, my child. You never need to try to find the words to express your need. I created you from myself, and only I know how to meet each longing and each need. Perfect union, and your beloved does come, through the life and glory of Father, Spirit, Son. Beloved, I come. Beloved, I come. Beloved, I come. I hear your hearts. I hear your cry and tears. Beloved, I come and I draw you near. My Father is called and beckon the angelic host to enter in. They come forth in glory and escort you to the throne of my love. At my throne, holy, 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 the angelic host do sing. At my throne, you shall be covered in my glory and dressed in honor, son and daughter. All shall rejoice that my beloved, my own, my body of Christ, has come back from the fall, come home. Prodigals, you were lost for a time without me. I did all and gave all to come and find you and set you free. Oh, my beloved, there was nothing I would not do to bring you back to me. I restore your eternal life in my love. I deliver you from this depravity. I know how your hearts cry out for home. Beloveds, no more shall you as strangers and foreigners roam. My life is your home, beloved. We are reunited as one, the Son and the Father, the Father and the Son. You and the beloved Son, you are his body, his bride. He is your head. He is your eternal King of victory and love. My beloved separation has come to an end. I must come for you, my loves, to from this depravity apprehend. It has been made clear, my loves, who my beloved are. They live and breathe and walk in the sun. For a time you have been hidden, as I have knit you within me. You have been mocked and despised by the religious spirit, just as I was. I experience this, my love. I understand, my precious ones. They cannot see, they cannot know, for the carnal religious man knows not what only the Spirit can show. What is the spe of the Spirit is Spirit, and shall eternally remain. What is of the flesh has no place in the kingdom of my grace and love. Only my beloved children through faith in the cross of my Son can enter in. He is the door. He is the only entrance into the household of God. Nobody and nothing can block that door, for He is the eternal welcome for each daughter and son. Come, beloveds, there is not much time. Enter in by faith in my sacrificial life. I called to you as I hung from the tree. I took your place and they jeered and mocked me. It was for each who yelled crucify that I took their place. It was for each who spat on me and whipped me as I bled in your place. The wrath of God was laid upon the son, laid upon me in your place. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. My love laid down, my love laid down for you, 
my love sacrifice was the sacrifice of self. Can you see? I was selfless, giving up myself. There was no self in me. This death to self is how you enter in through the cross of my life and receive eternal life restored in me. The me, myself, and I was crucified upon the tree. The me, myself, and I who is this fallen world's glory and decree. Dead self brings nothing but death and darkness and misery. Brings self to the cross of my sacrificial love and self can die by faith crucified in me. For, as the word declares, I was crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Crucified with Christ, and I will give you my eternal life by faith in my sacrifice. Just believe. You give up your dead self life, and you receive my life. You receive my life within. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. All self-righteous religious men look in the mirror and are blind men who cannot see. Only by examining the cross of my sacrificial love, my outstretched arms for you, can you begin to understand how great is your need that I would lay down my life so that you can be saved and have your blinded eyes open to see. Blinded in self, death has come, my glory, abandoned, everything to bring you back to me, my love. Self-love has no place in the kingdom of my life and love. Self is an exaltation of the glory of man apart from me. I will exalt you, my beloved, beyond all you can imagine or dream. Your exaltation is not in the flesh. Your exaltation is in me. You are mine, and in my life and glory do you live, breathe, and manifest. Your glory is mine. Your life is not your own. You live and breathe and exist for my pleasure, designed from my heart of love and eternal throne. You desire to do the will of the Father as the Son. He did nothing apart from Father's will and decree. He and the Father are one. This is eternal love. This is unity. This is one. Blessed holy union in the life of the Son. O oh, my beloveds, you cannot with your finite mind comprehend what manner of love shall welcome you in, what love and joy shall pour forth in you and through you, upon you and surround you. My glory shall come and cover you, my love. My glory comes for you, my love. My glory is decreed. My children are mine. Our separation has ended. It is time. It is time. Beloveds, you know and understand what the Holy Spirit does show. I have gathered you together to encourage one another and to understand and know the time is at hand. All is being prepared to welcome you in. My timing and plan is perfect. There is no delay in my perfect time. I know the plans I have for you. They come in my perfect design. I know each beloved precious child, each thought, each need, each cry. Collectively you call out to me as I have gathered you together in this time of your need. Your collective cry for home has been heard. I have given you revelation of my soon return. I have brought my children together to encourage and learn, to prepare for the kingdom glory of my love. It is just a taste and glimpse that you have of the glory that comes. Rejoice, beloveds, rejoice and sing, my beautiful bride betrothed to the King, Christ your head, you the eternal bride and body of Christ, reunited in one. Beloveds, my glory comes for you, my glory does come. Amen.